Okay, so we're going to uh, we're going to do a few errands through these country lanes. Try not to get my car squashed by this big truck. But yeah, um, I love home country times. I don't even drive my car that often because most time George drives. Say hi, George. Hello, everyone. Anyway, this is called a day off, so I can have a bit of fun. Day two, we're on a little road trip. Me and George. Say hey, George. George has just been uh, buying chocolates for every car. Car's clean. The cocoa's in there. Every time we have a pit stop, my little baby has to come with us because he loves it. Okay, so we're finally in Lincoln. And how long is it taking us to get here, George? Uh, I would say two and a half hours. Two hours. The sat nav said three hours, but with some fast driving, you know, cut a bit of time out. So. Yeah, well, only safe driving. I, I don't drive like an idiot anymore. Uh, but yeah, we've been listening to Grand Cardone and, uh, well, mainly Grand Cardone, and the current one we listen to is Ty Lopez and Grand Cardone talking about social media. It's so funny. So look, we've made hey, it. Hey, we've made I, got my, I got my gifts. Yeah. That's what's most important. <laughs> <laughs> we came all this way with those gifts. That, that's pretty um, impressive. So water, or you want wine, or what do you want? Wine. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron okay, just asked me if I can have wine on the boat. That's not a good combination. What? what? Wine and you? Or yeah, wine? I, I would fall off like if I had wine on that boat. <laughs> wine there in the boat. Yeah, wine is not a good combination. Wine and a life jacket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, Vasa. So what? So what? Just, just water? Or? Uh, yeah, water's yeah. good. Yeah. Let's check this place yeah. out. It's cool. We're gonna get on that thing there. Oh, I think. Clothes. Safest choice of shoes to go on a boat. Not that way. Moment of truth. <laughs> Jeez, we made it. So this boat party is pretty cool. Me and my coca's enjoying it. survived they came off and I went on that thing and came off in one piece it's pretty good George how did you like that yeah really good very hot Coco's been upgraded to captain so it's <laughs> captain Coke's now captain Coco the yeah first time in Lincoln first time experiencing uh, the water as your back garden which is pretty cool uh, his yacht's amazing okay so we're in standstill traffic which is so fun um, so I might as well tell you what happened when I was in London this week and every time I go into London I literally hate some of the people I have to speak to because one they're all on coke cocaine is one of the most used drugs in the banking industry it's almost like normal for a banker well it is normal for a banker to be on coke it is high on coke very very volatile when it comes to their actual business day to day um, and they obviously don't sleep enough. So why does that affect how I think about the education? Why is this whole Forex industry so messed up? Well, because these educators that ever go into Forex think that their claim to fame being a banker in the past is a good thing. And actually, that's probably one of the worst things. You don't want to learn from someone who's been in the banking industry and is still living that lifestyle. That's the key. Because bankers are wankers. <laughs> yeah, it's because 
because that kind of lifestyle isn't designed to be successful. You don't make money in the long term with that kind of habit. So we've started the day already, but I have been super busy all day talking to fantastic Ed. Ed is a he's a very very <laughs> clever man. He's good in a lot of things, especially businesses. And to be good at business, you need to be good at sales and marketing. It's all about sales and marketing. It's all about understanding buyer behavior, standard process, and understanding what people want and delivering what people want. Yeah. You know that's what we're all about. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a vlog at the same time. Yeah. We vlog each other vlogging. Yes, that's cool. Yeah, so I'm with Heather. Hi. Hi everyone. <laughs> I'm having a strategy meeting with Ed, figuring out what works for me going forward. Yeah, yeah. You're walking. Oh, yeah. Great walking would be dead. How, how was the golf? Though? Was it good? Uh... Are we are you in the place over here? Yeah, I'm not too great. Great good. We need some good shots. Although I finished, I, although the 18th, I finished on a on a on a birdie. Yeah. So, well, it, so I forget on the 17 previous holes, forgotten. The 18. I finished on a nice birdie, so that's all I remember. Yeah, it's all about the last one. Yeah. Exactly, no one cares about the beginning, it's yeah. all about the end. Yeah, it's how you end. <laughs> it's all about the pitch. Um, we teed off at like about 10 to 10, eh? Yeah, about that, so 40 to 10, yeah. Amazing. It's pretty hot. When I see my... People fail usually because one, they've got no self-belief. Number two, they're probably surrounded by lots of negative and that creates a lot of negative subconscious belief systems in them from when they were younger. It's Friday, we're going for that walk again, this time with Coco and this time with George. Yes, faster, faster. There we go. Yay. So we're at the gym, and even though we're part of a private members club, Soho, we go to a gym that is the, it's a bit more rough and ready, that's what we're trying to say. See ya. club it and then bounce up in his wrist. I don't know why he's running. <laughs> There's the grip. There's the stance. Two spots. And that's what she was doing. How about that, George? That needs nice connection, isn't it? Whatever a blog yeah. is, that needs blogging. <laughs> Did it?
So for a while I've been in Coventry. I actually have a golf lesson at Coventry Golf Club because George had his one of his um, top coaches before he was playing. He was playing for England. He had them in the Coventry Golf Course, so I play there too. And now I am meeting Gareth, who should be around here somewhere. Um, he's coming. I hope. Oh, that's Gareth. Gareth, say hi. Hello. <laughs> we just be right. telling everyone it's your birthday. Are we Facebook Live then? We actually did this for the vlog. Okay. <laughs> I'm out there enough nowadays. Yeah, he's used to it. He's used to the live night. So. Hello. And we already found your gift. Go, George, find your gift. <laughs> Valentina. <laughs> so, Gareth looks like a Bond villain with cokes. <laughs> and his birthday chair. Miss Mann, we have been expecting you. Yes. <laughs> really good. I trust him with all my students, the top level ones, and uh, he he's their one to one coach, and they love him more than they love me. So that's saying a lot. Yeah. And if they're coming along next week, I'll be there. Yes. Uh, and the week after. Yeah. So most uh, most events, Gareth sir, um, and any get-togethers we have, he's there. So. We go to weddings. I'm teaching George how to uh, do bangra. Otherwise, he needs to be fully prepped. You know, <laughs> first Asian wedding he's been to in his whole life. He's got three this year. Yes, he's got it. Ready in our Asian outfits. George, share your Asian outfit. Mine's not so Asian, it's just a shirt and trousers and suit. But so what's important about this wedding is that I for one hate the Asian culture because of my experiences. I'm not saying that it as a whole is the worst thing in the world. It's just that I'm not a fan because of the way I grew up in this very um, sheltered environment. Everyone is so narrow-minded. Um, and today's wedding is an example would you not say George yep so yeah uh, the bride is my friend a beautiful girl lovely lady she's been she had this boyfriend for a long time um, he's the same religion so Sikh not the same caste and therefore she should not be married and in fact her mom and dad are not attending this wedding and it reminds me passionately why I do what I do which is I want to make people who have been through those kind of restrictions and limitations and repression in their childhood or even when they're adults, I've seen grown adults in environments or cultures that are holding them back because they're not allowed to do something based on what their mom or dad says. It's awful. And um, I want to free people from that thinking because I was also in that and I have completely escaped it based on making my own rules. And the biggest factor being making money to buy your freedom because that's how fickle this culture and tradition is. Regardless, she stood her ground and is getting married without her parents' consent and without her parents even being at the wedding, which you know is not nice. She can't be nice. So I really have a lot of respect for her. Um, and I hope her a happy life ahead. So we're gonna go there. More importantly, George is gonna be dancing to Bangra. I've been practicing. For a few minutes. <laughs> that's enough. That's all yeah, we need. That's all we need. Everyone, and uh, there's going to be free bar. I'm not drinking. Never. George, are you drinking? I doubt it. I never drink. But under these circumstances, if I'm Bangra dancing, I might have one. We'll see. Shocking. Well, you won't be seeing me having a drink at an Asian place. Jesus. Even more taboo. Well, it's very, um, it's a very classy thing for girls to be drunk anyway. I'd have a, I'd never see me seen dead drinking in an Asian environment. Okay, see you later. Bye. Bye.